Here to talk to the Stockport County striker, Brett Angel. So Brett, tell me, this is your second time at County. How are you enjoying it? Yes, very much so. Uh, we've started uh, the season as we... We didn't start the season that as well as we'd like to, but we've picked up tremendously since then and uh, we're moving in the right direction. Has the club changed an awful lot since the last time you were here? Yes, it has. It's changed quite considerably, especially with this new stand that wasn't here. This was just sort of, well, standing terracing really, and uh, as it... Uh, the far side stand as well has, has been all seated as well. That was all terracing when I used to play here, so it has trained tremendously since being here last. But you've had a chance to play at the very highest levels of football to actually come back to county. Do you have to give it a little bit of thought? Uh, not really, because at the, at the stage that I was at in my career, it was stagnating a little bit. I wasn't playing regular first team football and uh, it didn't really take too much. Uh, Picking really when Stockport came in showed their interest. I felt that for the good of myself, I needed to be playing regular first team football, and Stockport gave me that opportunity. Yeah, you know, you've been scoring goals for fun in the latter part of this season. Does that make a big difference to you when you're a striker? If you're bagging them every week, does it make your life a lot more pleasant a place to be? It does, yeah. I think, uh, as any striker will tell you, they thrive on the goals, and supporters will judge you by your goals, so it's very nice when the goals are regularly going in and that confidence then soars and, as, and confidence is a big factor in, in football and I think uh, when you've got that you, you do things a lot more off the cuff without thinking about them that you don't do when you're lacking a little bit. Now Stockport are playing some terrific football, you've had a chance now, we're about halfway through the season, to see most of the opposition at least. Have you got any reason to suspect that uh, Stockport shouldn't be in the shake-up at the end of the season? No, I don't see no reason why we shouldn't be there or thereabouts uh, come May. Uh, we've, as you said, played everybody. Uh, we've only been really beaten comprehensively once, that was at Sheffield United. And I see no reason why we, if we maintain what we're doing at this moment in time, why we can't be there or thereabouts come May. Now, last season under Dave Jones, very, very successful period for the club. You get promoted and all of a sudden then you get a new manager. When you get that change, what's that like for a player when you've got used to working a certain way and a new man comes in with his own new ideas? It takes a little while to get used to it because uh, man, everything's about opinions and what one manager thinks the other may not and vice versa so it takes a little while to get used to the new man's ways and means and I suppose all players you do start off on what so called clean slate uh, the new man comes in and picks and chooses who he wants to put into the team and uh, I suppose you put yourself on, the, on your toes a little bit more but uh, as Gary's come in and done a tremendous job and really it's been service as normal Can I ask you about playing in front of a really full Edgley Park because it did used to be in all respect to the club, a bit of a backwater. Now you play in Manchester City and this place is packed to the rafters. Does that make a big difference to the players? I think you, you get used to you know, where you're playing. I, I don't think that because there's a, there's a full house or that, I don't think uh, as players it makes any more difference because funnily enough when you're on the pitch you don't actually hear the, the, the roar of the crowd. It's only when you sort of you know, the, the ball goes out of play and then there's a lot of... But you don't actually, when you're full in with the, with the game and everything that's going on, you don't actually think, oh, my God, what a magnificent crowd it is today. It's only when play stops and, you know, there's a lot of shouting and, and when you run out to start the match, that's when you really hear the big roar. But when you're into the, into the game, it, no, it's not something that you actually pick up on. But it's very nice when, you know, it is a full house because you know then that... You know, you're going in the right direction and, and people are paying good money to come and watch you. What about the future, Brett? Are you still ambitious? Yes, I'm still very ambitious. Um, you know, what the future holds, you, you never do know. But uh, I am still ambitious and I just hope that I can take the club and myself all the way, so to speak. How ambitious can you be for Stockport? Because we live in a very much money-driven world. And no disrespect to Stockport, but when you look at the type of money at the top end of the Premiership, how much higher could a club like County realistically expect to go? Realistically, because of the playoff situation, uh, it's not without 
the realms of possibility to make the Premier League. But I think first and foremost, Stockport as a club has to maintain its first division status for not only this year, for, for years and years to come and become an established first division side. So you're no longer, as you say, a backwater team. You, you become an established first division team, playing established first division sides.